All right, today I'm going to make uh, sushi hand rolls. Now, this is actually pretty easy compared to the rest of the rolling for sushi, but it consists of your same ingredients. You know, you've got your sushi rice, you've got your favorite sushi meat, and uh, your veggies. And then, of course, you've got to make your spicy sauce. Now, starting that with your rice, it's pretty meticulous. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but with your rice, you've got to have the right grain, the right kind of rice, uh, you've got to do a whole process with cleaning it, rinsing it several times, letting it soak, and then after you cook it, then you've got to do this uh, rice vinegar, sugar, and salt mixture, and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, there's uh, sushi rice videos online if you want to look that up. Right now, I'm just going to show you how to do the roll once everything is pretty much prepared. I've already got my scallions, my cucumber. Right here, I'm going to mix the uh, the spice that goes into the spicy mayo that goes into the uh, ahi tuna, so I'm going to make a spicy tuna hand roll here. And of course I've got my nori and I've got my rice ready to go. So let's get started. Now I've got this beautiful tuna steak here. It's almost an inch thick and it only cost me a couple bucks. Sometimes it varies in price and whatnot, you know, the better the tuna obviously. But this is ahi tuna, that's what I want to be using. It's my favorite to use for a spicy tuna hand roll. Uh, veggies wise, you know, I've just got the scallions and the cucumber like I mentioned a moment ago. But you can do, uh, you know, various things, you know. Um, a, lot, a lot of times people like to use avocado in there. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to slice this up into small little pieces because then we're going to mix it with the uh, uh, spicy mayo, and I'll show you how to make that. That's real simple. It's just used here with this uh, sriracha and uh, the mayo. And uh, we'll get to that. There we go. Now you can see I chopped it all up, and I did it cross grain so I can get all these little individual pieces here. And I can just mix it all up here with a, a fork and whip it really good when I make the spicy mayo. Now this is really simple. If you haven't seen this by now, then uh, you've probably never eaten anywhere else, Chinese-wise, Japanese-wise, buffet-wise, sushi-wise, anywhere. You ought to know this, at least somewhere. Really spicy, really hot, and the beautiful thing is, is you add as much as you want to your spicy taste. You know, if you don't want so much, you want a lot, whatever. But if you've never really mixed it before, use it sparingly, so you don't, you don't overpower your palate. And uh, I'm just going to mix a little bit of that in there right now, and you can stir it up just like fry sauce. And if you don't know what fry sauce is, well, then you're not an American. Um, get some nice color in that. Get a good pink. As you can see, not a big deal. And then what I'll be doing here, we'll come to the uh, ahi tuna, and we'll just pile that on in there. Mix it all up, and get ready for the uh, mixture here. Stir it all in together, and uh, then we'll get going with the nori stack in the rice and move from there. Okay, there as you can see, got it all mixed up, it's all incorporated, good deal, way to go. Now let's get the nori, uh, in case you didn't know this is the nori, it's the, the uh, toasted seaweed. You want to put the shiny side down, the texture side up, and uh, you're going to work your rice here. That's about a, a cup of rice. Always get your hand wet so it doesn't stick to you it gets a little insane if it does, but you take about half the amount there, and we'll just plop that right down there in the middle, and mash that out. And what you want is uh, a spacing right here diagonally. There's a lot of different ways to do this, actually. I've seen several different ways. Whatever's comfortable, but this is a good way, okay? You can mash your finger right down there in the middle so you can start laying in the goods. By the goods, I mean the veggies, okay? You start with the veggies first. A couple of bits of cucumber. Okay? No big deal. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then right over the top of it, we're going to start dumping in our spicy tuna. Now, you can't just go as much as you want in there, unfortunately. You can only roll so much. But you want to keep the bulk of it up top because that's just like an ice cream cone, where the bulk's going to sit in the lesser amount down inside the roll, okay? And that's probably good about right there, all right? Now, the tricky part now 
is doing the row. Okay, okay, the easiest way is to go ahead and just take this thing, slide it like this off into your hand, like so. I almost lost it. See how tedious it can be? Not a big deal, but just roll it just like this. right over like an ice cream cone. Keep the bottom tucked tight. Roll it around. Roll it around. Keep on working it, baby. Keep on working it, baby. Now right down here in the bottom corner, I'm going to take just one little rice right here. I'm going to mash it, and that's going to help me stick it to the bottom right there, just like that. Okay? Now top it off. Some scallions. And there you have it. One spicy tuna hand roll right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen.